However, you didn't go there by way of the winding way. What? Oh, oh, she went in the box. Gwa! But look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. <laughs> Hiccup. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I ask this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um... Er... Miss Miney, please answer the question. Uh-oh. Don't answer the question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Oh, well, I suppose since you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hmm. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah! The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Inumani. So now is the time to prove it! Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? When the murder took place, she was in the channeling chamber. Because that's where the murder happened. And she's the one who did it. So, yep. What, but that's the channeling chamber. No shit. Isn't that the crime scene? Slam those hands down, Phoenix, that's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Yep, we're going out and we're going balls deep now. That's why that is... Uh, 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 Mr. Phoenix, right? Have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yeah! Oh, that's right! That's right! I'm so sorry, Miss Karma. You're always right. I should have known. Sybil, Miss Eenie Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Ooh, alright. So, oh, alright, you wanna- you wanna play hardball? Home game. Here, of course. Behind the folding screen? Whoosh! Oh, don't let me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone is hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk! Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. She is tearing that hat up. Now, now, Miss Miney, one so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. Whoa! Oh, a new post. She actually looks cool now. Jeez. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. This. Miss Miney. How you were able to hide the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ooh. That tiny little box, no person could fit in that. Lotta fit it in there. I knew that was going to come up. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Yep. Well, that clothing box was in the side room, right? Yeah, I know. That's the only part there where I'm still confused. Hmm. No, it wasn't. It wasn't there when the first time I came in there. Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Uh, I don't... Wow. I don't think I actually can. Because I can't prove that it wasn't in the room. I mean, I remember that it wasn't in the side room, but I can't prove that. No, oh, well, yes, I can't. What am I? Oh my god, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, I've totally completely forgot about the bullet hole. Okay, but first, I need to. There's a hole that looks like a bullet hole about eight inches off the ground. But then there's also. Um, this, yeah, it aims off the ground, this small hole looks like a bullet hole. I'm gonna go with the folding screen, although it'll probably take either one. 
take a look at this closet box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This what on earth? Mm. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole of the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box, and then probably through Maya's costume. Because she was in there. Miss Miney. Because we, it, it, we know it didn't go through her costume, like, outside. Because the costume didn't have a hole in it when uh, the other girl was wearing it. Anyway. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Order, order. So what you are saying... Then Mr. Phoenix, right? What about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Inimani? No, it's Inimani Possessed. Wait a minute, can she do that, though? She's not a spirit medium, is she? I never even thought about that. Maybe she is. But we haven't established that. Okay. Well, we're going with it. <laughs> You were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? Yes, George Benson. This masquerade, she had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No, stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Correct, it's not possible. And she had Morgan's help. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! <laughs> Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. I've been whipped so many times that I'm, these welts are not going to be surgically fixable. Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious. Huff Huff? You, you're not part of this conversation, you just keep tearing up your hat or whatever. You had an accomplice. Profiles. Morgan Fay. Take it. Grr, this person... If it wasn't someone from Corrine Villas, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fay household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Yup. Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? Yeah, sorry, dude. It's a down boy. Because... She's got nachos on her head. Grrr. You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Just like Gino. Do you deny it? I guess not. Oh my gosh. Boy, once we finally got to the end of that, that was like the easiest case I've played yet. That was the easiest of all of them. Basically because I knew what happened. With the box and everything. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig. She pretended to be the defendant. So wearing a wig, yeah. And then the channeling started. And the murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. 
And she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. <laughs> Look at her over there, so happy. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so that she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected this is. And unfortunate. Ah! Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. That's also why Maya's costume actually had the hole in it. Yep. <laughs> so we had her pretty much then. Damn. Yeah, she was trying to... <laughs> she was trying to show it off, man. And pretended to be Maya Faye. So you can't whip the picture! But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fay chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. Sure enough. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. This must not be the case where somebody gets possessed. That must happen later. Ha. Ah, ha 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 ha. Wait, maybe not. Oh, you simple minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still a chance evolving? <laughs> what is it this time? Miss Von Karma, surely. Of course it was me. What? Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What? Wait a second. And that is... If this witness is the real murderer... Why would she go through all this trouble? To avenge her sister? Working together with a medium? Pretending to be one? Putting on this whole act? What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Eh? Huh? Well, that's, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I noticed she had no likes in her sentences there just now. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Inimani want to kill Dr. Gray? Where's her motive? Duh. Well, yeah, she kind of does. Because of... Oh, you're going a second. 14 patients died. From malpractice. Maybe she thinks Dr. Gray is the one who actually got those patients killed? No. I mean, it, all, it almost has to be this. Ho hum, ho hum. Is this a word search? I'm having a tough time finding the word motive. Ouch. Oh, my breathing is becoming labored. My eyesight is failing me. Makes you not want to get old, doesn't it, Mr. Phoenix, right? Ack! I've got to take my time and think carefully about this. Phoenix, think back. What kind of an axe would any have to grind with Dr. Gray? There isn't only one reason, right? Yeah, well, okay, let me try this again. I'll go to Profiles and her sister. Ha! 
Just as I thought you bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just right now, even she is calling me by my full name. Is that wrong too? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? But... You were just saying that... And you wanted to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. I'm, like, going to explain, so, like, please listen, okay? Crap, man. It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, and like, I wouldn't have waited this long. And besides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was, like... So, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was, like, Dr. Gray. It's, like, a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? <laughs> Oh, ow, that one really hurt. That was like right in the face, man. Did I? The end. <laughs> she scares me. That's all I, I don't even know, man. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. What? So many faults, Mr. Phoenix, right? You should really learn your place. Oh! Uh, what? I was winning! I had it right there in the palm of my hand! I had it right there! I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. Whoa, 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 who said that? Wait a minute. Who said, was that her that said that before? Who said that? Oh my god. Shite. Nope, there's gonna be a last minute objection right here. Hold it. Well, hold it. Huh? Your Honor, I know you don't recognize me, even though I've been in your courtroom a thousand times. Please allow the defense one more minute. Alright. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia, I'm dead. I've been whipped too many times and it hurts too bad. Guess it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plenty for murder. But to know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Ah. Oh. Why did she do it in this way? If I'm not totally confident, or I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix, only you can do this now. What am I gonna do? I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. I still don't see how avenging her sister is not a solid motive. I mean, it's like... It's because according to her, her sister said... So even if her sister didn't really say all that stuff to her, she still obviously thinks that her sister was drugged and that's why she died. So, too bad you're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. What? What? I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? 
You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, what? A Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. That was a rhyme. <laughs> and I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I'll blow you out of my fitness. Mm -hmm. Very well. Ugh. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. I thought it was over! I thought I had won! How can there be more to this? There's only like two questions left, right? Oh my god, thank god I get to save! Oh my god, uh. What the hell, man? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, um, do I even keep going? I really want to keep going. I just want to finish this. But I can't keep... Maybe I'll just take, like, a short break. Like, maybe ten minutes or something. I can always, like, come back to this later. So I think I'm going to do that. So, um, I will be right back. You know what? I'm just going to say see you guys next time. So next time on Phoenix Wright, we'll finish this case. See you guys later.